We're at the Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. And uh, here is a collection of, probably the best collection of lunar rock samples brought back by the Apollo astronauts. The first one is uh, Apollo 15. They went to uh, the uh, Lunar Highlands to a place called Hadley Rill. And there's one they brought back. Down there is the uh, soil known as regolith. And the next one is also from uh, Apollo 15. There's their landing site. You can see the rill there, that's Hadley Rill. And uh, this is a very interesting um, rock, uh, igneous rock. It's olivine. Um, it appears to be uh, greenish. I think that's the presence of iron in it. And I don't know if we, we can see it, but the rock really sparkles. And it's a nice big one as well. Now these next two are from uh, Ken Mattingly's Apollo 15, uh, 16 flight. John Young and Charlie Duke, uh, they went to Descartes again in the uh, Lunar Highlands. They were looking for lunar rocks, or excuse me, uh, volcanic rocks. And uh, just to show you that it pays to send human beings, they didn't find any which meant that the uh, lunar geologists had to rethink everything they thought they knew about um, that particular part of the lunar surface and how it was formed. They were very surprised that they did not find uh, any, any um, volcanic rocks in the Descartes Highlands uh, on the Apollo 16 mission. I believe they took uh, three spacewalks and brought back um, several hundred pounds of rock samples.